Hi, it's Linda Rusis with the Focus on Nova team for Century 21 Redwood Realty here with your top three takeaway. And today we are talking about becoming a landlord. It seems like everyone wants to get in on the real estate investment game right around now, um, especially in the Northern Virginia area. I mean, it is a fantastic return on investment. Um, if you're in it for the long haul and if you do your homework beforehand so here are three things that you should consider um, if you're thinking about becoming a landlord so as the saying goes in real estate location 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 but when you're looking at, inv at an investment property you also want to keep in mind what your comps are so even though an area may be a fantastic location you really want to make sure that the real estate agent you're working with is running the comps to make sure that you are actually getting a really good deal on a home um, or condo or townhome or whatever type of property you're purchasing um, and to make sure that you're getting you know the best bang for your buck when it comes to that because location is great but if you're just at flat out buying the same type of home that a typical um, purchaser would be buying it might not be the best decision um, second thing is when you are looking at um, what your purchase is going to be and what you're going to pay on or charge for a monthly rent you need to keep in mind um what the hoa and condo fees are because that's going to play a huge port or a huge part in what your financing or what your net return is going to be because in this area you do not see a lot of landlords um, charging the renters for those um, for those fees the HOA and condo fees those are always tied into the rent so you want to make sure that the numbers are coming out where you are going to either break even or make some money the last thing you want to do is buy an investment property and then find out that you're losing $500 every month um, because you were not taking into account what those HOA and condo fees are and then the last thing you need to think about if you're thinking about becoming a landlord is are you going to self-manage your property or are you going to be working with a property management company so self-management that's where you're collecting the fees you're on call for getting any items fixed with the home and just kind of overseeing the home in general versus you can work with a property management company where they would for a fee um, they would take care of the daily and the monthly check-ins the rent payments and then if any items need to be done with the home so those are the three things you want to be considering if you are thinking about becoming a landlord my name's Lynn Narusis with the Focus on Nova team for Century 21 Redwood Realty if you have any questions when it comes to real estate please get in touch